Then you said something about the Quran and burning bush. What is it that you've read about it? On the no, he did not. He did. Even a beggar said, I am. But you're, you're applying what you're saying. No, no, I, I'm okay. going to give you the context. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing. He talk to Musa yeah. from the mountain. Let him, let him talk. But you have read, not him. He has his own understanding. You have your understanding. No, no, you can what? contradict me. What? I, 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 no. He's free. He got his... What okay. is your understanding yeah. when you have read the Quran? No, no, you don't want to be. No, no cameras, please. No cameras. Thank you. Okay. That's fine. So, what is your what is your understanding of the Quran is saying? Uh. With me? Yeah. What do you mean? When the Quran is saying Allah the is... Quran. I study the Quran. Um, well, you can speak I, to my brother over there. I, I don't you, you made a statement. Yeah. What about God in the burning bush? Yeah. But they don't want to be. No, no. Get you just it's okay? Only him. You will not be in the picture. Okay, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. No, no. If it's okay, it's otherwise we'll, we'll just... Okay. It's fine. Don't record him either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... So when you said something about the Quran and burning bush, what is it that you've read about it? It's that God appeared to Moses as a burning bush. I didn't read the verse. Properly, okay, God so doesn't. So in our yeah. Quran, God doesn't appear to Moses. Yeah. God is speaking from the burning bush. Yeah. You see, I can now straight away speak to my friend here. Yeah. Is my friend inside the phone when I'm no. speaking to him? No. So I can hear the voice of my friend in this phone. Is, is, is he your friend so, speaking? So, so, no, no, my question is... So, my so question when is, we hear... Is, you, is your, your friend speaking? When I hear my friend on this phone, my friend is not physically here. Do you but agree? Is he but do you, do you agree that he's speaking? Um, I'm explaining. If you're listening... No, I'm asking a question. Yeah. Do you agree that Did he you is speaking? Okay, I think you're confusing this uh, gentleman, gentleman here. Question. Just ask a question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, when, when I... Seven, stay... Yeah. No, no, you are not. You are not. Yeah. When, when I speak to my friend on the phone, my friend is not physically in the phone. Yeah. But he's speaking else. from the phone. He's somewhere he's else. in the phone. Yeah? yeah. All I hear. I understand your logic. Yes. All I hear yeah. is a voice of my friend yeah. the voice of in a friend. different location than he is. Yeah. If I can do that with my friend, yeah. God, do you think it is impossible is, for God? John 3. Um, you're not. You're not. You're not letting me so, so, uh, so making saying, a clarification. I am here talking. Yeah. I, I am. Uh, nobody went to heaven that, except the Son of Man. Who I am simply saying yeah. that, that God, saying. to Him, belongs the highest description. Yeah. He can project his speech yeah. from a burning bush oh. in which he's speaking with Musa al Islam. Yeah. Okay? It's not difficult to imagine. Yeah. But we don't say God is directly, physically himself present in the burning bush. Yeah. Because even when Musa al Islam in the Quran says, I want to see you, Islam Tarani, you cannot see me. In the Bible, the kind of similar stories in which Moses wanted to see God. Yeah. God says, you can't see me. Yeah. So in the Quran, Allah says, look, when Allah revealed to some of the tajalla, his, his tajalla, his glory, and says, if that mountain is still there, then perhaps you can see me. Yeah. When this glory parts, a little bit of glory, of course, some glory was revealed, that glory totally burned the mountain, yeah. crumbled it to dust. Yeah. And Musa, Moses, fainted yeah. and once he come back to his senses, he, he, he realized he realized he realized no, that what right. this is not about Dakka and Dakka yeah. it's something different this is in the air in the end of the world times yeah. where Allah will destroy everything yeah. no, no, this no, is no, when this is the verse of uh, um, right so so here we find we find Musa al Islam realizing that you cannot see you are not equipped yeah. to see Allah in this world but you agree right? that Allah talked to Musa through the right. bush and the so, mountain as a Christian you're a Christian right yeah. as a Christian do you consider that we should worship Allah alone yes but we believe that Allah became Jesus 
Okay. I speak when English. when Allah became Jesus, yes. was he still there? لم يصعد أحد إلا السماء. Was he still there? ابن الإنسان الذي هو في السماء. That's what he said. No one, no one can go to the heaven other than the Son of Man. No, no. This is what you believe in, right? That's the verse in John. Do you, do you, do you believe in what Jesus said about God? Yeah. Okay. What does Jesus describe? Who the only true God is? Only. Jesus said in Saint Mark. Listen, Israel, God is one. Yeah. That's what did. Jesus said did. in Saint Mark. He did. Who did he identify but, that God is? But do you know what Jesus also said? Before you say that, yeah. can you just clarify? Yeah. Who did Jesus identify that one true God is? Um, listen, I don't know everything yet. I'm, I can I, tell you if you don't know, okay. no problem. Yeah. I don't know everything yeah. either. Yeah. Jesus in John 17:3. This is a very famous verse. There's a very famous, there's a famous verse in the Bible that yeah. Christians God know about. So loved the world. Right? He gave his only, gave his only begotten son yeah. that whoever, whoever, believe in whoever believes in him die. shall not die but yeah. have this is, eternal life. Yeah. This so, is in John 3:16, talking about only, right? Yeah. So it's good that you mentioned about when when God says He has only one begotten Son, only yeah. begotten Son. Yeah. Can there be more than one? No. Good, only because it means only, right? Yeah. Good. In John seventeen three, yeah. Jesus is saying to His Father, "This is eternal life yeah. that they should know You, meaning the Father, yeah. the only true God, yeah. and Jesus and Christ. And no, no, and Jesus Christ, whom You have sent, Ar Salah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So He is a Rasul who has been sent by the who? The only true God. So according to Jesus Christ, who is the only true God? God, but he also makes... No, 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 no. He also, in his parables, he said... Before you go into parable, yeah, let's yeah. take about this verse okay. first. And then you can yeah. add any verses to yeah. complement this. In this verse, Jesus is identifying the Father yeah. being the only true God. Okay. Do you do you follow so far? Because that's because the Jesus and the Holy Spirit they both come from the Father. No, please. Yeah. Do you follow so far? Yeah, I follow. That when somebody says only true God, yeah. can there be another true God? No. Good. Obviously. So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? The Father. How many persons is the Father? One person. But he also went on to say, "I and the Father are one." Wait, wait, wait. Firstly, let's yeah. understand that statement, yeah. and then go into the other statement. Okay. When he says, you, the Father, you are the only true God. Yeah. Can there be another true God other than the Father? No. Exactly. So according to Jesus, yeah. so according to Jesus, the only true God is the Father. It's, it's our verse of Tawheed. You know, Tawheed, it's our verse that says God is one. Because if, if it didn't say okay. that, it means- Is Jesus a true God? Yes. According to Jesus, who is the true God? The Father, but he also makes claims that he is God as well. If he makes a claim, yeah. is he contradicting? He's not contradicting. Okay. okay, let me let me tell you something. You are the only true engineer on planet Earth. Can there be another true engineer? I don't want to... No cameras recording them, please. If you are the only true engineer on planet Earth, can there be another true engineer on planet Earth? No. Because I said only. Is yeah, it exactly. exclusively? Yeah. If but Jesus, you're, you're focusing on just one verse. No, 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 no. We are focusing on yeah. a clear yeah. statement of Jesus Christ okay. in which he identifies the only true God. Yeah. Tell me elsewhere yeah. he identifies other true gods. Go on, tell me. No. Then why do you say Jesus is a true God? Because there are other verses where he said, like I am the light of this world, okay. I am the bread of life. Which prophet? Okay. Okay. Just by saying, I am the bread of, yeah, well, I am the light. Did, did any of the pre prophet, prophets say? Well, let's try to understand they something. Said, I am the way. Um, the, what, yeah, what, I'm the, the way, the, the truth, and What's the light. What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas? Yeah. I speak Arabic. That's, that's okay. okay. If you are, if you, 
He's a Muslim, but he doesn't speak Arabic. If I want to speak Arabic, I can speak Arabic. I'm a Muslim, but I speak Arabic. But I can't speak Arabic. If I want to, I can speak Arabic. I can speak Arabic. Okay. 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 Okay.
If I make a statement, your sins are forgiven. Am I claiming I'm forgiving the sin? Uh, if you make the statement, your sins are forgiven. Yes. Am I forgiving forgiving those yes. sins? Okay, forget that. No, 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 not forget that. No. This is precisely what's okay. in the New Testament. Jesus is saying. Yes. So let's use his words. I say to you, your yes. sins are forgiven. Yes. Am I claiming that I am forgiving the yes, sins? But he he went telling people your sins are forgiven. You, he said you can you can only enter your, God's kingdom by believing in Nicholas, me. Nicholas, Nicholas. Yes. If he says your sins are forgiven, yeah. there's a difference between I am forgiving your sins yeah. and your sins are forgiven. Do you follow? Yeah. Good. Did he ever make a claim, I am forgiving your sins? Yeah, he did. Where? He did. I don't know the verse, but he did. Okay. If you don't know, no problem. I don't know anything. No, no, no problem. But I can tell you for, for, for sure, yeah. there is no verse in the Bible. Okay? You can correct me next time when you come, yeah. just to say I found the verse. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm positive it doesn't exist okay. because we've been discussing this kind of question for donkey's years. Okay. Right. Jesus Christ, did he say that he has a God? He did. Right. Does God but say... He, he made the claim that he is God. Where? It doesn't have to be... Okay, where does he, he say he's he God? Says, he says, I am the Father of one. One what? I, it doesn't speci specify what he says. <laughs> when you want to make okay. a claim... Yeah. Okay, look. When they see... You okay, and I... Okay, okay but in wait, the Quran, wait, he doesn't wait, say I'm a prophet. One second, one second, one second. In the Quran, he never says what? I'm a prophet. He does, he does. He does, he does. Okay. He does. okay. In Surah Al Maryam, yeah. when the baby is brought to yeah. the people, he says that. Listen, no, listen, people listen. Say it for him. He listen, say listen, it. listen. Okay. He says, Inni Abdullah, in Atani Al Kitab, yeah. wa Jaalani Nabiya. Yeah. I'm just paraphrasing. He says those things. Okay. Right? He, he makes a claim. So, if I say to the crowd, Me and Nicholas are one, yeah. what do you understand? One what? One what? Maybe in purpose? No, one what? We are one. Okay. One second. Yeah. Let's try understand the, the yeah. phrageology. Me and Nicholas are one. One what? One nation. One nation. One what? Unity. Could be more than one person. One person? But we know one person. One what? One what? Me and Nicholas are one. One. One what? It's not clear, is it? Yeah. Because we can be one. One. Okay. One yeah. family. But we can be one. Listen, it's not listen. Clear because we, but when he makes a claim, Nicholas, to Nicholas. Yeah. Okay. Every statement that you bring, do you agree? It has to speak for itself, rather yeah. than you need someone else to explain to you what it means. Yeah. Right. So when he says, "I am the Father of One," yeah. It could be. I'll give you options now. Yeah. It means he's one God. Yeah. They're one in purpose. Do you agree? Yeah. Which one do you think it's? He, he means that. One in purpose. One in. One okay. In essence. What if? What if we find? that he actually goes further yeah. and then he explains the same oneness yeah. and says just like just like I it's okay can you give some more room to the sister just like just like you and I are the one yeah yeah you and I are one yeah you the disciples will be one with us yeah so the same oneness will make the disciples God too do you agree yeah do you believe the disciples are God no However, mm -hmm. there's other verses where, it, if you don't agree with that, there's, it says, I, I'm the light of this world. Oh, no, no, we'll go to those verses. Okay, yeah. Let's understand one yeah. point at a time. Yeah. Me and Father are one yeah. is also used elsewhere yeah. by Jesus Christ using the same analogy yeah. and he includes the disciples. Yeah. You would know from context, it doesn't mean one God. Because yeah. if it meant one God, the Father and Jesus meaning one God, and he says he's the same oneness, yeah. then the disciples will be one. So it doesn't mean he's actually God. Yeah, yeah. He's claiming to be one in purpose. Yeah. Right. Where else did he say, I am God? In any implication? I, I'm not going to make Whoever believes in me, wait, wait. I'm the resurrection. Slow down. Alpha yeah. and Omega. Yeah. What is so Alpha mean? First and the last. It means he was there in the... Okay, forget those. When he okay. says, he, he talks about how amazing Abraham was, Ibrahim, mm -hmm. he talks about how amazing he was, yeah? And then he goes on to say, before Abraham, I am. I am part, what? I am, because that's what that's what God said to Moses in... Um, no. On the no, he did not. He did. Even a beggar said, I am. But you're, you're applying what you're saying. No, no, I, I'm okay. going to give you the context. Yeah. Do you know, there's a beggar in the Bible, in the New Testament, says, he says, I am. Yeah. He's the beggar God. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything. Jesus said it, it's different. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. If somebody claims, I am the name of God, does it make, does it make him God? It doesn't. 
it doesn't. It doesn't. How did the Jewish people understand when he said, before Abraham was, I am? Because he said it, it was his name that they weren't allowed to say. No. Context is the yeah. key. So Jesus was doing something. Yeah. And what, what did he say? He says, my father Abraham saw my day and he yeah. rejoiced to see yeah. that day. Yeah. Did he exactly. say that? He said that. Yeah. And what did they say? And they, You're yeah. not even 50 years old. How yeah. can you say... That's when they picked up stones. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Nicholas, slow down. The context is, is the key. Yeah. So, they said, you're not even 50 years old. Yeah. How can you claim to be... And the time of Abraham. Abraham seeing you, you seeing Abraham, right? Because you're not even 50 years old. Yeah. And his response was... Before Abraham was, I am. Yeah, exactly. So his answer to their question is what? That's his claim to divinity. Before Abraham, because if they're saying you are not even 50 years old. Yeah. He says, I was not only during the time of Abraham, yeah. even before Abraham, I, I was. Yeah. What is he trying to establish? Divinity. No. It is. He's trying to say his pre-existence. Yeah. Their That's question. still divinity. Pre no, it's not. Yeah, okay, it's not the same. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. I'll tell you why it's okay. not. Pre-existence. Yeah. Do you know someone called Melchizedek in the Bible? He's also contemporary to Abraham. You see, the things get now very, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Melchizedek or Melchizedek in Hebrews? Melchizedek, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something and tell me whether who this is. Someone without a beginning of yeah. days, end of days, yeah. right? No father, no mother, no genealogy. Who can that be other than God? Can there be anyone yeah. with no beginning? I, I told you, one, I don't one, know everything. No, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, okay. that's why I'm yeah. telling you. And now you can check okay. afterwards. Yeah. If somebody is now described to have no beginning of days, yeah. nor end of days, I don't, yeah? No beginning of days, no end of days. It's not just Alpha, he's yeah. saying I have no beginning. Yeah. It's not just Omega, even more, I have no end. Yeah. It's more claim than Alpha and Omega. If somebody said that, yeah. or somebody's described, yeah. you would say that's a description of God, would you not? Yeah. Right, that's Melchizedek, was contemporary of Abraham, and it is not, it is not the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. Okay, where is it called? This is in Hebrews 7.3. 7, Thank you, brother. You want to have a look at it? Uh, sorry, Hebrews what? 7.3. This have you got it? is in direct reference of Jesus. Who is this Melchizedek? It's referring to Jesus. Hebrews 7.3. Oh, no. It is. But made like the made like the Son of God remains a priest continually. He is not the Son. Yeah. So this is different than the Son. It's still referring to Jesus. No, I'm it's not. You. you can go and check with yeah. your priests and rabbis. Yeah. Um, I'm not Jewish. Are you a priest? I'm Christian. Your scholars. Yeah. Do that. Okay. And you, you can, I can give you lots of commentary now if you want. Okay, I have look into it, but I need to go in. in, in but no problem. No problem. Yeah. As you realize, this is a candidate of being God. Yeah. But as you know, this is cannot be God. Yeah. yeah? Even though it's referring to a human yeah. being. In the Old Testament, God presides in the assembly of gods. Yeah. How many gods do you believe in? That's not that's not true. That's what in the, the Old Testament. That's Old Testament says that. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. I'll show you. Psalms. It, it can't say anything of God. Psalms eighty two. Yeah, you can check this out. It's just that, uh, I am, it's literally directly right. I know what they're doing, I know what they're doing. So, shall I? Psalms, I'll show you something very interesting. Psalms 82 interlinear, okay? okay. Inter... So what does interlinear mean? It will give me the original um, okay. text. If it's in Hebrew, Hebrew. If it's in Greek, Greek. Right? Fine. Here, look. Yeah. Hey, Sam. Yeah. 
God takes a stand in the congregation of El. Um, God is congregating I, I, I know what you mean. in an assembly of gods. In that, it's referring, it's referring to the, uh, because in so Middle Eastern, yeah, mm -hmm. in, the, in the history, they were, they worshipped like um, different, like multiple, they, like, yeah. This is before, in the heavenly court. Yeah. Okay. Not, not human, not in Syria, not in Palestine. Yeah. Yeah. God is, is having a council, a congregation in, sorry, of gods. In the, among the Elohim, look. Among who? Elohim. So the Old Testament is often polytheistic in nature. When, the reason when, when it says he judges among the gods. I haven't gone to that verse yet. Yeah. This is first verse. Okay. He is in the congregation of who? Yeah. Elohim. Yeah. What does Elohim mean? That's exactly what I told you in English. Yeah. What, are, what what does Elohim it's mean? The, it's the name of the pagan like. No 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 no. Time. God Sorry. is in a court, heavenly court, yeah. not a he human court. Okay. Okay. In I, this I didn't know that. Okay. Now you know. Yeah. In a heavenly court, yeah. there are other gods. Yeah. Elohim. Yeah. Okay. With this, he's talking. There's, they're making. They're showing he's he is the true God, not not the gods that the the, the people in the Middle East at the time worship. God is saying it's, that okay. he has a congregation. You have to look at the other verses near it. I know what verse you're talking about. No, I'm talking about not verse 6. The verse 6 that yeah. Jesus was using okay. to, to defend yeah. him from an accusation that was made. Do you know that? Yeah. He used this verse 6 yeah. to refute the Jewish people. Yeah. Who said because he, at the time the Jewish people they were worshiping the god of Adam and Eve whilst worshiping other like no, along, no, no. they, it, it, they it, said they said okay. Jesus was blaspheming yeah. making himself God he said oh. okay you have to go shortly yeah okay so what we, if you have to go let me summarize okay. would you worship a god who is God independent self-sufficient like Allah a summit? Al Ghani? Okay. Or would you worship a god who's dependent? You're, you're applying the Muslim logic on us. I'm you asking you a simple Muslim. question. Okay. You are a human being, I'm a human being. Yeah. We need to worship God. Yeah. Agree? Would you worship a god yeah. who is dependent or would you worship a god who's self sufficient? When you say he's dependent, you're, you're going to make the claim that Jesus, he died this, that, what? When he did that for a purpose to save us. It's not a purpose. It is because God, okay. a God yeah. who is perfect is independent. Yeah. A God who's imperfect, he's dependent. Yeah. So do you worship a perfect God or an imperfect God? Perfect God. A perfect God would be independent or dependent. But a perfect God can do anything they want. So they can, no. he can die, he can become a human and die. The definition of perfection yeah. is free from imperfection. Okay. Dying. But see, you're, you're applying a separate Nicholas, definition. Nicholas, Nicholas. Okay. Dying, yeah. not knowing about things, yeah. being so weak, yeah. these are imperfections. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah. No, do you agree? I agree. Agree what? I agree. It's the, your definition. No, you're, no, no. You're applying. Your definition. Yeah. Do you agree God is the truth? Yeah. Do you then affirm God would never lie and lying would be imperfection? Yeah. Right. So you will reject God to be a liar yeah. because he's truth. Yeah. If God is unknowledgeable, would you reject God is ignorant? Um. If he's all knowledgeable, yeah. would you reject that he's ignorant? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to reject the imperfection. Yeah. Ignorance, dying, okay. are imperfection. Yeah. So who would you worship? A God who is all knowledgeable, like Allah, all powerful, like Allah, everlasting, like Allah. Or are you going to worship a God that comes down and people beat him up and he dies and says, who are you going to worship? But he existed in more than one place at the time. Are you going to worship a God who is perfect or imperfect? Perfect, as Jesus Christ, because he came down. Okay, well, he came down to save us. So he's God in the is, flesh. Is dying a sign of perfection? No, you're, not, you, you're missing the point because everyone was... What am I missing? Everyone was destined to die because of uh, because of the sin that we've, we've made. Is God yeah. someone liable to death? No, because he, came, he he was the only one that was worthy. Because he was he became a sinless human. Um, his, was he knowledgeable? His blood, his blood was pure, yeah? 
Yeah. Was he knowledgeable? Hmm? Was he knowledgeable? Yeah. When he became a human? Of course. Did he know the hour? Of course. The Bible says no. Okay, it says he didn't, but when he went to heaven, he knew the hour. No, at that time, he was on earth. Try to heaven. try to understand my go. point. Yeah. If you're on, I'll look into your point, but I need to go. What now. point are you looking into? Into the 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 man the man you're telling me about the mil milk. No. If you are all knowledgeable, yeah. are you always all knowledgeable or you are all knowledgeable except 30 years, 33 years? What does all knowledgeable mean? Then it said he, had, he was um, destined to Think about it. If you are all knowledgeable, yeah. does your all knowledgeable omniscient include 33 years that's or exclude it? He was limit, that's, you're missing one point, that's why he was limited to being human. God can limit himself? No, because God can exist in more than one place at a time. Can God, limit, can God limit his life? Yeah. <laughs> um, one, two, three, six, no. Six. Why not? He died and rose no, no. again. Why? Why can God not limit his life? Okay. Sorry. Why can not God limit his life? Why can not God limit his life? Yeah. Because he's God. No, no, no. Why is it not possible God to limit his life? Shall I tell you why? Why? Because he's everlasting, with no end. That's, That's why. True. And we, we say right. that, but we do say you, that about do you, Jesus. Do you say God we is... Say, do, you, Jesus do you say God is unknowledgeable? We say Jesus is Do you say God is unknowledgeable? Father is unknowledgeable. But when Jesus was in heaven, he was unknowledgeable. And then when he come down, is he all knowledgeable? Because he's on earth, he's limited to being a human like us. You see, the question of limiting his knowledge, does it make sense? It does. Because How he, does it make sense? He's a human like us. He's got the same body as us. But, but he, what does, about, he does. What about he's in his divinity? He does know his divinity. In his divinity, he he's all knowledgeable. He is. He is. So as as a person, Jesus, yeah. when he says, "I don't know," actually, he does know. Yeah. Yeah. He does know. He does, he does know. So he. Yeah. So so when he says, "I don't know," he does know. Yeah. Interesting. It depends, it depends you take care. What no means, right? Because yeah. Like, so he's taking it as. You take care, well, and perhaps you can speak again. I'll, yeah? look, I'll look into it. That must be. You take care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hecklers get a life. They have to go. I thought these guys derailed it. No, no, he had to go before these hecklers came in. Yeah, yeah. Guys, can Yeah. Blur both of them, the girl and the boy.